again. This happened again. That's what was going through my head. I'm over it. I'm over it. I came out today to pay my condolences to the families that lost their lives. Um, as a parent, every day, we pray for our kids. Um, my son is no longer, he's graduated, but every day, that's what I thought about. And it's sad that these parents are going through this right now. The loved ones of the teachers. I'm pain, I'm, I'm upset, I'm crying constantly. Just, it's sad, it's sad. With something that could have been prevented, or try to be prevented here in the state of Georgia. But yet and still, people are allowed to get guns, free to get guns. We're over it. These kids should never lost their lives. These parents, these adults, these teachers should not have lost their lives yesterday. So, I'm hurt. And I was taking my test. My teacher was helping me. It was me and four other students in that class. And um, we heard seven shots around the corner from where we were sitting. And um, we just kind of paused because we just didn't expect that from our school because it's everybody's really happy and we're all really friends. And um, so we at first it was just confusing because it would have been unreal for it to be shots, you know, and um, but we quickly, my teacher quickly realized that that's what it was. And he got us up and told us to run because our classroom door was shut and we couldn't, it was locked. Um, so we couldn't get in there. And luckily a teacher across the hall had opened her door and we ran in there. I hid under a lab table because it was a chemistry classroom. So they had the big tables. Um, I hid under the table and there was a girl beside me um, and we just, we prayed, she held, I held her cross necklace with her. The sirens came, we heard outside the door a few more shots, and then, um, we finally heard the cops saying, get down, show me your hands, don't move, and then we heard right outside the classroom I was in, um, the suspects being taken into custody, and then SWAT came in, uh, came in, escorted us to a different room. We were in there for like a few minutes, and then somebody knocked on the door, and it was a cop. Our teacher opened the door. The cop escorted us out to the football field, and as we were walking out there, we were just told to put our hands up, show our pockets. In the football field? Yes. Um, getting escorted to the football field I did see blood and I did see the um gun like taken apart on the floor that was used by the shooter I believe um beside a body my night was probably the hardest part of everything just because it was quiet and you just kind of you know think when everything's quiet so, um, I was just kind of sitting there, you know, I was on the phone with my boyfriend because he was in the same classroom as me whenever we heard the shots. So I was on the phone with him because he's obviously experiencing, experiencing a lot of trauma as well. So it's good to be there for each other. The first thing you wake up and think about is like, somebody lost like the coach, their dad, somebody lost their dad, somebody lost like their best friend like it's, it's just the first like I don't think I can wake up and not think about it you know